everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to Ask Think, episode number 115 for Monday, August 18th, 2014, and last week's question was, if you had a purse or a bag or something, or I guess it was, if you were a woman and you had a purse, so you could just put anything, anyway, what would you put in it? And there were a ton of question or answers that, um, well, a lot of people said noodles and money, duh. And, um, and then also people said, um, you know, uh, iPhones, iPads, tablets, uh, laptops, so they could play games, watch YouTube and things like that. Those are really, really common. But what I wanted to do here is feature the ones that were uncommon, kind of funny, kind of different, those types of things. So a Wookiee 54321, and you guys may know him from Club Penguin, always Star Wars themed. Anyway, <laughs> if Wookiee were a woman, he would have a lightsaber in his purse, and that is totally fitting for him. Uh, Gigi Taco says, one, I'm a woman, two, a boxing glove, don't ask, three, three cookie boxes, don't ask again, four, a lemon zester, don't ask, and a tablet. That's if she had a purse, and I I mean, I want to ask, though, why, you know, I, I guess the boxing glove, okay, I kind of get that, because, you know, you might want to defend yourself in cookie boxes, because if you get hungry, but a lemon zester, I have to ask. Gracie Clark said she would put her favorite YouTubers in it, but she doesn't mean on her tablet. She means literally, so I need to watch out. Uh, Clara Bear said she would have uh, her phone, lipstick, and headphones, which is common, but then a hover laptop. So when you walk around, the laptop floats in front of you. Does Is this a thing I don't know about? I mean, I know I'm older than you guys, and I don't know all the cool stuff, but never heard of such a thing before. Now, um, Mr. Sandman on 98, he, uh, he took the noodles, um, you know, in my purse or in my bag sort of thing, and I took it a step further and said he would carry with him a pack of Indomie, which, in my opinion, is the best instant ramen there is. Uh, but I lived in Indonesia, so I'm a little bit biased, but I love Indomie. The Wolfie Grace said they would put in first aid stuff, food, food, more food, even more food, and more first aid stuff. And then a top hat, a monocle, and a backup mustache to match the avatar, which I, I thought was really, really cool. And X, Real Gaming X said if he had a small bag that he carried with him all the time, he would, of course, put a plunger in it because he's the bathroom attendant. And, and then Alice ABF said they would put another purse inside their purse, but then a Lego Man said he would put a purse in the purse, in the purse, and then Marbello took it one step further, or maybe two steps, <laughs> put a purse inside a purse inside a purse inside of the my 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 purse, purse, purse. <laughs> Margaret Zhang said she would travel to a distant planet to kidnap some aliens and stuff them in their purse by feeding them the exact diet of mangoes, cauliflower, and a roast beef every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. and name each of them, either Raleigh, Sean, Tim, or Helga. <laughs> and it, it, there's no like smiley face at the end. It just seems very matter of fact. <laughs> the pig rider John said they'd have an ear, noodles, and a horse. Just completely out there. <laughs> oh, this one was funny. Uh, Sushmita Damnath said, I would have my pet guinea pig. So when someone try and get it, it'll bite them. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what your guinea pig's name is, but it sounds like a, <laughs> a fun pet to have, I guess. Like, I, interesting. Anyway, um, Agent E said that they would have a mousetrap and a taser because if someone took it from me, I tricked them into opening it and getting their hand snapped. So then I could take the taser out and zap them. No, 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 never mind. I just have money in it. <laughs> Cupcake Kitty 33. This was one of the most random of all. If I had a purse, I would fill it with warm milk and empty it on people's heads. <laughs> and then Zombie Agent said, I would carry a gun. Just kidding. A tiny puppy. <laughs> Those are two very, very different things. Um, oh, yeah. Alexander Astorga said, I would put my dog's poop in my purse. And I was like, oh, what? And I said, but... I don't have one. I would just put it in my sister's purse. And then uh, finally, Fiona Katie said, I would put TNT in my bag. And there's a picture of Kevin in ASCII art. That's awesome. Now for next week's question. And I know I'm going to get a ton of people saying Frozen, but Natalie Vordick has it. And it is, what's your favorite Disney movie and why? So if you put Frozen you gotta give me a good and original reason for it. 
And of course, I'd like to see all the other ones as well. Now, before we get to the questions, I want to remind you to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. Remember, only one question per comment, but you can leave as many comments as you like. Also, if the comments on this Ask Think are closed, go to the most recent Ask Think and ask your question there. Now, on to the questions, and the first one is from Danielle Beta, and it's not really a question, it just says, I thought you were on vacation, and I think that was in response to the video coming out. Yes, I was on vacation all of last week, and uh, it was really great, but, uh, but anyway, what I do when I go on vacation is I pre-record all the videos for the week in advance, and then I use YouTube to schedule, publish the uploads. And uh, speaking of that, Conan Gohan says, Mr. Think, why did you make the last Think Labs video private? Well, uh, you guys would have seen that in a lot of the playlists uh, that um, that the next video that hadn't come out yet was private. Um, and that's because uh, when I put them into the playlist, YouTube, I don't know why, but it should, since they're private, just hide them. But it sort of shows them to you guys, but then you can't watch them. So that was just because uh, they were waiting to be published. XXCP asks, what activities did you do? Um, well... <laughs> Two things. Well, I guess really only one thing technically, the, but the two things that we did on vacation was scuba diving and nothing. Uh, that's really what we like to do um, when we go to the Cayman Islands. Uh, that's It's one of our favorite places to go because we've been there a million times, so there's not really anything that we really, really have to do or want to do, and we just kind of relax and uh, we go scuba diving in the mornings and then do nothing the rest of the day other than you know figure out where to eat lunch and dinner <laughs> so it's really really nice mk panda asks, do you remember your dreams usually not uh, i don't think i sleep enough uh, to really have dreams or even enter REM sleep i don't know but when we were on vacation last week i Hadn't, I, you know, I, I feel like I hadn't dreamed in a long time and I would wake up every morning and tell my wife my dreams and I, I really, they, they were just so many random things together. Nothing made sense. And it was just, you know, it was, it, oh yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I do when I sleep enough, but, uh, usually I don't. Jonathan Lutz asks, why didn't you answer my question last week or is it just luck? Well, yeah, it is. I mean, well, it's not necessarily just luck. I mean, if you ask a very good question that I've not answered before, of course, I'm going to answer it if I see it. And I think it is luck whether or not YouTube decides to show it to me. Uh, it's really, really random uh, which questions they show me and which ones they don't. Blake Winberry says, can you pay more attention to the background in asking just a little? Well, <laughs> I think you mean in my commentary or in my questions. And here's the thing. Uh, I do the audio before I even record the background um, because uh, what I do after I've made this uh, video, uh, I go and I edit all the audio and everything and then um, I go and play enough for the background of Ask Think so I know how long it's going to be. Uh, it, and if you want to see exactly what's on my screen and what I'm paying attention to when I'm recording the audio, uh, click the raw recording link in the description right now. Joseph J. Manda says, Hey, think how many times, if any, have fans noticed you in public and what did they say you noodle on? Um, well, as uh, if you mean in public, like randomly on the street, never. Uh, now, at Minecon, I, yeah, people did, but that's because they were there to see me. And also I tweeted out where I was going to be and that sort of thing. And all we really did was, um, you know, talk to each other about, you know, my videos and Minecraft and all that stuff. And it was really, really fun. MK Panda asks, what's your opinion on tattoos? Well, <laughs> you know, uh, when I, when I was on the beach, actually, I noticed there were some uh, older people. Uh, who had tattoos because you know you're walking on the beach and people have their you know bikinis or their or their you know their their shirts off you know getting tans and stuff and I thought wow you know that tattoo was probably pretty cool when you were 20 but not so cool when you're in your 70s but uh, <laughs> but but of course it's a personal choice and uh, I don't have any my wife doesn't have any and interesting thing that we learned because we're going to Japan soon is that uh, if you go to any of the Japanese uh, traditional bathhouses if you have any tattoos you aren't allowed in 
because in Japan, there's sort of like a taboo against tattoos that if you have a tattoo, you're considered to be somewhat related to someone in Yakuza, which is like a Japanese mafia. So, yeah. Madeline Bird says, hey, think I'm going into 11th grade. And I want to know if you had any tips to make it a great year. Hmm. Well, my 11th grade year was a little... It was tough because I was uh, I moved back from Indonesia to California and I was starting a new school. And uh, I mean, thankfully, well, I guess he was a year younger than me. But anyway, I had friends uh, that lived on, on my block, I guess. They were, they were a couple doors down and he was a year less than me and his sister was the same year as my sister. No, wait, she was a year less than my sister. But anyway, uh, so that made it fun after school, but during school, I had, a, I had kind of a tough time and I, I hung out in the computer lab a lot. So I'm not the best person for advice going into 11th grade, but, um, but, oh, but as far as, uh, one thing I did, I, I can give you a tip on, um, is, uh, you know, make sure you, uh, any, I, I mean, of course, take it, don't, don't overdo it because, you know, um, <laughs> you'll get burnt out, but do some preparation for SATs. I didn't, and I, I didn't really ask, I didn't have a lot of friends to ask what they were doing for SAT prep. And I did fine on the SATs, but I could have done a lot better if I had just gotten a couple of those um, SAT workbooks and things like that and gone through them. Although now they're probably um, digital, <laughs> they're not actually books anymore these days. But anyway, if I had, uh, and, and that's some advice I'd like to, to pass on to you is uh, do a little bit of SAT prep, familiarize yourself with the test because I went into it not even knowing what it was about uh, other than it was an aptitude test. And and I, 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 if I had known the types of questions that they ask and how to approach them, I could have done better. Selena Santiago asks, when was the last time you went to Disney World? And she's going and missing school Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Well, that is awesome. And I know you guys, a lot of you guys in the U.S. are going back to school in the next well, a week or two. <sighs> That's sad. But anyway, uh, I was in Disney World last November uh, when Minecon was there. Jordana Garland asked, can we send you our fan art through Instagram as well? Um, well, I don't use Instagram hardly at all. I mean, if you look on my profile, I think I post a picture once every four months or something of Kopi. But uh, so I, I don't check it very often either. And I wouldn't even know how to, uh, to, to, to access your fan art. So uh, it's better off if you send it to me an email or uh, attach it to a tweet. Nether Star Gamer says, I never know when you play on servers. Do you tweet out when you're going to play on a certain server? Yes, I do. I always tweet out before I'm going to go play multiplayer. Smiley Freak asks, how do you not get background noises in your recording? I thought you were in New York and last time I went there, I couldn't hear a thing. Well, my apartment has like double ping windows or something, I think, and uh, and it filters out a lot of the noise. If I were to open my window, you'd hear a lot of it, although right now it's 630 in the morning and probably not that much noise, although I can hear a little bit of construction myself. But the other thing is my microphone is very, very good at rejecting any noise other than my voice. I'm a Sarantel says, what time do you record the Hunger Games for your Ask Thinks? That depends on the video, really. It depends on how I'm feeling in the morning, whether I've done the audio already. Uh, usually, though, it's, um, it's, you know, it's usually between 10 and 12 uh, New York time. Julia Gonzalez asked, did you watch Guardians of the Galaxy? It was a great movie. If you haven't, you should watch it. I have heard, and I know it did really, really well at the box office. And I love Chris Pratt. In, and uh, I didn't watch that. But uh, when I was on the plane, I watched the Lego movie, which um, the protagonist, or the, I guess the main character, is Chris Pratt, uh, or the voice. And I loved that movie. That was such a great movie. And I think I had that everything, you know, everything is awesome. I had that stuck in my head for like three days. Grant McDonald asks, if I met you on the street, what would I call you? Well, I guess that's up to you. I mean, it, it depends. Uh, people that uh, I know, I guess, through YouTube on Skype or whatever, other YouTubers, uh, most of them call me Think, but a few call me Justin and I'll respond to either. Megan Craft asks, Hey Vink, have you gotten a Lego set before? And if you did, what was the first? Well, when I was a kid and, and I could, I mean, 
maybe it's just the ones that my parents bought for me, but I just had regular Legos. There weren't really any sets specifically. It was just like the yellow and the red, you know, like they were just the normal ones and, and I didn't get any of the pirate ship ones or anything like that. I don't know if that's because there weren't any or because that's not what my parents bought me, but yep, just normal ones. Kopi the Kitten asks, think when will you ever play a game that isn't Minecraft? I was excited for you to start a new game, but then it was only PE, which isn't as interesting as PC. Well, I started PE because, um, well, because it's so much closer to the PC version and uh, there was a console-ish version of it. And I wanted to play something that other people maybe, uh, since they couldn't get the PC version for whatever reason, maybe might play. But um, maybe for 400,000 subscribers and you might think, oh my gosh, that's going to be like forever. But lately, I don't know what went on while I was on vacation. But um, yeah, the subscriber count is is jumping so fast that 400,000 is going to be a lot sooner than you think. Paige Nicole asks, would you be willing to meet up with a kid from the Make-A-Wish Foundation if it was their wish to meet you? Of course, absolutely. Although I would hope that they would use their wish on someone more important or something cooler or better than me. Um, but absolutely, if that was their, their real, you know, their Make-A-Wish, I definitely, definitely would. Widgie6 says, at the Teen Choice Awards, not a lot of the awards, the YouTubers were shown. Besides PewDiePie, since he lives far away, how do you feel about that? From what I've seen, the YouTubers did get some off-camera time. I had no idea that the Teen Choice Awards awarded YouTubers anything, so I don't know. <laughs> Nicole Arden says, if you had a subscriber that had a really, really, really good question, but an inappropriate prof profile picture, would you still post their comment on Ask Think? Yep, and all I would do is take uh, the screenshot and I just wouldn't include the avatar, just their name and then the question. Blake Hunter asks, Hey Vink, I was wondering if you're going to change your intro because some YouTubers change their intros when they hit another 100k subs. Just curious because you've had the same intro for a long, long time. Noodle on. Nope. Uh, I think it fits and I like that it, you know, it's, mine's different, uh, I think. Maybe it is, I don't know. I like it because it's different than most other people's intros and it's just appropriate. I mean, it's just the name and a little bit of sound. It's short. Um, it's not specifically Minecraft related, although that's almost, well, that's not all that I do, but uh, right now that's a lot of what I do. But I like that, uh, that, that, that it's a little bit different and it's not just Minecraft, you know, with my, my, uh, my Minecraft character or anything like that. Um, and I, I just, uh, I like the familiarity it brings. Um, when the video starts, you guys know, oh, here it comes, you know, that sort of thing. So, no, I, I don't have any plans to change that at all. Muhammad Abdullah asks, how long does it take you to edit a 30 minute video? That depends on the video. I mean, um, if it's just a Minecraft gameplay video, like my survival let's play or something like that, if it's a 30 minute video, or, or uh, well, yeah, if it's a 30 minute video, that means I didn't edit it very much. So it doesn't take all that long. Um, it, what takes a lot longer is like a 30 minute ask think. Okay, that takes a long time. Um, you know, 15 minute think slab takes a really long time. Uh, but uh, yeah, it doesn't, the amount of editing isn't always, um, I guess, uh, linear compared to the length of the video. James Fox asks, think, have you ever been to NASA? No, I always wanted to go to space camp as a kid, but I did go to the, I think it's the Johnson Space Center in Houston when I was there a couple of years ago. Lou Craftio Games says, hey, think, are you excited to see Star Wars 7 in 2015? Um, I am, and I'm a little bit scared, I guess, because, you know, episodes four, five, and six are classics, and it's really hard to uh, measure up to them. And and one, two, and three, I mean, obviously one did not, mm -mm. okay. But anyway, <laughs> number one, you guys know. Number two got a little bit better. Number three was almost on par with, with, with uh, four, five, and six, but wasn't. Um, so I'm hoping that Disney taking over, they can, they can actually um, make it comparable to four, five, and six, although I don't know, but I, I'm always, uh, anxious to see more of the Star Wars trilogy and and or I guess whatever it is now since there's six of them but uh, it would be interesting to find out what happens after Return of the Jedi. Steven Zaw asks when is the next Minecon? You know that's a good question. Uh, I would have expected by this point um, they would have 
announced the dates. Uh, it's supposed to, it's November every year. Uh, it just depends on what week in November. Uh, but I, I don't know currently. They haven't announced the dates. Miranda asks, earbuds or headphones? Depends. Uh, if I'm using my phone like on the street, uh, it's a lot easier because when I'm walking Kofi, better to have two hands. So I use my earbud for my phone. But uh, when I'm recording or playing the computer or whatever, I use headphones. The next person asks, are you scared of tarantulas? Yes. And you know what? That word, when you say it or when I say it, it, it conjures up an image of a tarantula. It's his legs bent and it's like, it's like almost like on his hind legs, like about to attack me with its fang. They scare me to death. And yes, even just the word makes me cringe. Minecraft really does him ask, what are the best apps for an Android on the Play Store to get mods and maps or to handle them? I really want to have mods. Well, you know, I on my console, uh, my Fire TV, I can't get them the block launcher app to work. So I don't know what the best one is for mods. But what I will do is I'll include the link to the app that I use to get the maps. Uh, it'll be in the description, so go ahead and click that and you can install it on your device and you should be able to just add maps. Mods, I don't know, but that's how I do the maps. VJ Suri asks, think, do you have the beta hat from Club Penguin? Nope, my penguin is definitely not that old. Wolflink Interstellar asks, hey, think noodles, what do you hope for the Minecraft 1.9 update? Well, 1.8 it's not out yet and I'm so impressed with the things they've added and the feature creep with them. Um, uh, you know, they, they, they were supposed to, to, to have it in lockdown almost um, and not add any new features. But I love this stage uh, because every year or every update, when they get into feature lock, they start adding a couple of really, really cool things. I mean, in I think for 1.7, they added the acacia wood and the dark oak and things like that. And in this one, they added the colored beacons and the new doors. Those happened while I was away. I'm really excited about that. But for 1.9, I'm hoping for, um, I know they've added, you know, the, the uh, ocean monuments and stuff. But I, what I really would like to see is um, some sort of floor, uh, like, um, uh, I, I want to say flora, but I don't know if that's appropriate to underwater environments. But, um, <clears throat> you know, things like coral and seagrass and things like that underwater would be really, really cool. Jish101 says, is it tough for coming up with ideas of your survival now you've done almost everything there is to do in Minecraft, beat the Ender Dragon and several withers, withers, etc. No, not at all. I mean, the great thing about Minecraft is it's about you building things as well. So although I've finished the survival adventure aspect that they did add to the game, there's so much left for me to do. I have so many ideas. The hard part is actually figuring out which ones I should prioritize <laughs> and do first. Joseph asks, what version of Minecraft do you play Things Lab in 1.6 or 1.7? Depends on the mod and sometimes, or depends on the story I'm telling, and sometimes, uh, depending on the mods I need, uh, I play in both 1.6 and 1.7 in the same video. Rafael Perez asks, why do you have so much bread in your survival world? Well, that's because I have that little auto farm next to where my skeleton farm is. So what I would do uh, to pass the time <laughs> was uh, while I was waiting for skeletons to fall down into the um, into the killing chamber, I guess, I would stand there and hold down right click with bone meal, um, well, well, actually with seeds, sorry, with seeds in my hand and just constantly plant the auto farm and, uh, and harvest it. And I would just get stacks and stacks of bread while I was waiting for the skeletons to fill up. Ducky10 says, think, can you do a download day like every 10 or 20 episodes on the Noodle Planet? Uh, well, I don't want to set it at a certain number of episodes because I might be right in the middle of something, uh, like I am right now at the uh, railroad. But uh, I am going to do one soon. It has been a really long time and I've added so much to the Noodle Planet. I know you guys are anxious to play it. Jude Baker says, think in the Think Slab videos, do you purposely put minions in particular places like Jack in front of the mess in the Shrink Ray episode? No, uh, I don't. If it's a named minion other than Kevin or Dave, those are random minions that are running around. I mean, obviously they're invulnerable and they'll never die, but I let them do whatever they want. Now, Kevin and Dave, I do place them in specific places, but anyone else, it's a random occurrence. The next person asks, how do you say lapis lazuli? Uh, I, th I think I just answered my own question when I asked it, but that's how I say it. Uh, I read that off of the wiki when I first started playing because I didn't know how quite 
or quite how to say it. And I think that's actually how it's supposed to be pronounced. Vassy X Games and CB33 asks, what was the hardest creation on the Noodle Planet? The island in the sky. Hands down, hardest thing. Uh, and probably will be for eternity. I, I don't think there's anything really much harder than that in survival. I mean, in, in creative, that would have probably been easy. And then something uh, that would be hard would be some kind of crazy redstone contraption where I had to figure out logic gates and things like that. But as far as survival building, that thing was a monster. The Toad Bros 18 says, think I'm so upset at you in the dropper after you jumped in the toilet, you didn't wash your hand. Oh man, you're right. <laughs> I should have washed my hands in the sink. But didn't 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 I go after the toilet? Didn't I didn't I go take a shower? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> Creative Zane MC says, How does your game not crash? I have a Dell Windows 8 with Norton Antivirus, yet on multiplayer servers it still crashes. How do I fix that? How? Actually, mine does crash. It depends. And and actually what I've found. Um, is it's Optifine and multiplayer servers. I, I think it has something to do with Optifine and Bucket, or I, I don't really know. Don't I, I don't know the technical details. But uh, once I removed Optifine, and you might want to try this uh, if you have Optifine, remove Optifine and see if it still crashes. Because I found that once I removed Optifine, I didn't have crashes anymore. Doggy Doog says, "Hey, think how do you see how to craft the item on Hexit and Things Lab Noodle on?" Um, it's not enough items is the mod and all you have to do is mouse put your mouse over the item that you want to find out the recipe for and then press R and it'll give you the recipe the iron bucket asks have you been watching shark week the sharks on there are just like my pet snappy by the way I need you to feed him see you later uh no 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 <laughs> I, I really don't like the idea of a shark pet named Snappy because that makes me think he might snap my hand. So I think I think he'll be fine until you get back. <laughs> but yes, I have been watching Shark Week and it's awesome. Domi Lego 4 asks, have you ever tried to right click a cat with a milk bucket? Do you know what happens? Actually, it depends on if the cat is sitting or standing. If it's sitting, it'll stand up. And if it's standing, it'll sit down. Yes, like with many other objects. Impressive, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And it's funny because I started reading this comment and I was like, oh my goodness, what can you do with a cat? Can you feed it milk? Like I thought it was going to be something really cool because, you know, he made it a long thing. Like, and by the time I got to the end, I was like, oh man, he got me. <laughs> Ali Holcomb asks, are there really mutant ninja turtles in the sewers of New York? Yes, um, the author or the person who created Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's actually based on a true story. He had, it was this scientist guy, and he had this rat, and uh, but they were subjecting all these tests. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, there's not. <gasps> Anna Melgarejo asks, a woman walked into a bus with her baby, and the bus driver said, wow, that is the ugliest baby ever and the woman went back in to the back of the bus and complained to a stranger said the driver called my baby ugly and the stranger said all right, all right, all right. go up to him he is such a jerk here I'll hold your monkey <laughs> Ooh, that's hilarious all right guys uh, that's it for this week's ask think don't forget to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, noodle on.